All right, hey guys, this video is gonna be targeted for new users of GS Pro, or maybe if you haven't bought GS Pro and you're just researching it, you're trying to figure out what are all these different driving range options? How do I get to them? And, and what's different about them? Because there are so many options now that it might be a little bit confusing. So uh, we will walk you through most of them or, or some of them. Um, to get started, let's just go to the normal GS Pro driving range that comes with the software, no matter what, you go to practice and then driving range. And the uh, driving range is going to load. <clears throat> and here you are. Um, this is the waterfall background um, and you've pretty much just got an open range. So uh, sometimes new users miss this, but you do have a green to hit to. It's over here. Uh, on the left, you've got a distance slider. So right now it defaults to 416 yards. If you just drag this down, you can get to your green. You can get as close as 22 yards. Um, so if you, uh, you can pick whatever you want and hit to that green. Um, my mini map is closed, but you can also see it there. Um, so you can pretty much just hit shots and uh, get all the data that you need. It's a standard range. There is a new feature here, which is this uh, cross right here at the bottom of the slider. If you click that, that opens up the randomizer and that will give you random distances and change it for you so that uh, you can um, have a better practice session that way, keep you from just hitting the same shot over and over. So when you do that, uh, you get another slider here on the right that you can set the maximum and the minimum uh, for your randomizer. So if you basically just want to work on your wedges, you can kind of go from 140 to uh, 53 and it will pick distances between there. And then down here at the bottom, you've got one, three, and five. If you select one, the distance will change after every shot three after every three shots and five every five shots. Um, so right now we're at 69 yards. Let's just go ahead and uh, take a swing at it and see what comes up next. A little short. And now we're at 124. So um, that's pretty much your basic GS Pro driving range. Um, up at the top, you've got a uh, quick closest to the pin. Um, I hit one shot, so it's 15 feet away. Uh, you could you know, do this on the driving range, but it's more fun on an actual course in practice mode. Um, so let's get out of here and go to another driving range option. So we're gonna to wanna to go to practice mode, but on course practice. Now these driving ranges are um, actually built like courses. And so they're, you're gonna select it as a course, but GS Pro Practice Facility um, is a short game course that comes with GS Pro. It's actually the only course that uh, comes with GS Pro when you download it. Um, and so not really a driving range, but a short game practice facility and uh, show you what this looks like. Okay, so basically it is um, a bunch of little pit shots, but if you go up here and select the flag icon, there are 18 different holes. So first one, we're on uh, 50 yards, hole number two, 30 yards. Uh, hole number three, 15, and you can just go from here and work on your short game, hit little pitch shots um, as much as you want. So let's close out of this and go to another very popular driving range option. Again, we're going to practice mode, on course practice, and we will look for the night range. And here's night range. Uh, you're gonna have to 
search for it and download it just like any other course. You can hit play course, play night range, and it will load. And now we have a nighttime driving range. You can see the mini map down in the bottom left. There are a bunch of different distance targets. Um, and you can go again from hole to hole. So you go to hole number two, we're now at 250 yards, hole number three, 225, and they go down in descending order. So if we want a short one, let's go to hole number 13, and it's already moved me to this 110 yard uh, green here. And of course you can just select your target if you want, um, but it's easier to just change holes. So this is a very cool nighttime driving range, gives you a different look with the lights and everything. And uh, there you go. Now those are just a few examples of the uh, driving range courses. Um, if you belong to any of the course designers, Patreons, uh, several of them have other you know, creative driving ranges that uh, are available. But I also wanted to show you the course driving ranges that you can warm up on before you play. So this is a newer feature, and not every course will have this, um, but a few do. And I know that Revelstoke has one, so let's go there. We're going to hit play course. And if the course has it, you'll see this button down here at the bottom that says head to the range. That's how you're going to get to it. Um, and so click that and it will take us to the Revelstoke driving range that this particular designer, Rusty Dave, has included with the design of this golf course. So when you download a new course, you just want to check and see if that button is there. And uh, then this is a very convenient way to just warm up with some shots uh, rather than going to one of the other uh, ranges and, um, you know, switching from course to course. So we'll wait for this to load. All right, so here we are at the Revelstoke driving range. You can see it's actually a covered driving range. Um, each of these are going to be different. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's going to generally going to be exactly what the driving range looks like for that course. Um, and you can really just hit some warm up shots and make sure you're loose. <clears throat> Um, of course, you can use the mini map to try to aim at some of these targets. Um, actually, they're not, uh, they're either very hard to see or they're not on the mini map. Um, but you can do this as well, just click with the mouse. That, that one's 26 yards if you wanted to hit that and so on. But uh, now, the convenient thing with these driving ranges is that when you're ready to, you're, warm, you're warmed up, you're ready to play, you just hit the tee off button and it will take you straight into your round on the first tee box. And here we are. Uh, first tee of Revelstoke. There we go. Um, so guys, kind of three different ways to use the different driving ranges of GS Pro. Um, again, if you're if you've used GS Pro, you're probably aware of these, but if you're new or just looking into it, hope this kind of cleared up some confusion. There's a lot of good options um, to warm up and practice. So um, guys, if this was helpful, let me know. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Thanks.